it's 2024 and I see more and more Serato DJs starting to dabble with Rekordbox DJ and playing on USB sticks. So let's go over five things that I think every DJ trying to make the switch from Serato to Rekordbox should know. First, you're gonna need a tool to transfer all your metadata from Serato to Rekordbox. This means all your cue points, beat grids, etc. And to do that, there's a lot of different tools on the market. There's stuff like Lexicon, DJ Conversion Utility, Mixo, to name a few. I suggest doing a little bit of research on all of them and figuring out which one is the right tool for you to use. Number two is library management when you're playing on USB sticks is completely different than how you would do it in Serato DJ. Because the way you browse through your playlist and search for songs is different, and also there's actually a cap on how many songs you can put on a playlist for some CDJs out there, you have to kind of rethink the way that you organize your music. Now I'm the type of Serato DJ that likes playing in a playlist with a lot of music on there and I have a mental note of where everything is, but when I play on sticks, I have those playlists broken down into smaller sections that allows me to browse through them quicker. Number three is the workflow playing on sticks can be a lot slower, especially if you're playing on anything else than the CDJ 3000s. Anything from loading songs to scrolling through songs can be slower, so if you're the kind of DJ that likes the quick mix, it might take a few extra steps to get your quick mixes sounding the way they would on Serato on USB sticks with Rekordbox. Now my hack for this is using the tag list, which is very similar to the prepare crate in Serato. And what I'll do is I'll load in those two or three songs that I know I need to quick mix together and that way they're easily accessible. Number four is that you should always bring at least one extra copy of your USB stick. You never know, maybe the DJ Pro link between the two CDJs doesn't work and you need to plug in a USB in both CDJs or maybe one corrupts and you at least have that one backup that you can play off of. Unlike playing with your laptop using Serato, the connection is usually pretty solid. There's a few more things that could go wrong with the CDJs playing on USB sticks and it's always handy to at least have one extra copy. Number five is that the hot cues on the CDJ are not what they call gate cue. This means when you hit the hot cue, even if the deck is paused, the song will start playing. Unlike in Serato, if the deck is stopped, when you hit that hot cue, it'll only play as long as that cue button's pressed down, then go back to the beginning of the cue point. With the CDJs, you have to use the actual cue button above the play button if you want that gate cue function. If you use the hot cues, the song will start playing from there. So if you're one of those DJs that likes playing by just hitting that cue point and having the song play, it kind of has to change your workflow on how you play on sticks compared to Serato. And a bonus tip for all my Serato DJs out there that are starting to dabble with USB sticks, you have to realize that the search function does not work nearly the same as it does in Serato. With Rekordbox, you can really only search the song title and the artist name. And with CDJs older than the 3000s, you have to search the, either the song title or the name perfectly. That means say you're looking for a Notorious B.I.G song, maybe you're looking for One More Chance, you can't type in Notorious and Chance, it won't find it. But if you type in More Chance, the song will pop up. So keep that in mind when you're searching because especially if you're doing it frantically and you know, you're in the middle of a set, not having that in mind can make you feel like you didn't have a song saved on your USB at all and can be really frustrating. So it's something that I always make sure to think about. Either I'm searching the song title or I'm searching the artist. And those are a few things that I think every Serato DJ starting to play with Rekordbox with USB sticks should be made aware of. If you found this video useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, go ahead and click on one of the videos right here. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.